because Paul is exactly what God called him to be. You understand? But the thing is, I had to look at it. You're thinking about it. Paul was a, he, he persecuted the church. Paul's story is a great story of somebody who can change their life around and live for God and have, can have been all kind of things beforehand. The reason why Paul was the way he was because of his teachers, the way he was taught. He knew the word. He knew scripture. He knew all this and that. He believed. You understand? But his teachers, he, he was like loyal to the wrong people. So they had him doing certain things to persecute the church. And God was like, hey, let me sell to this man. He got a good mind on his head. I like him. So think about that God looking at you. I like, I like her. I like him. He has a, she has a good mind on her head. But let me, let me point her mind to the right direction so she can work for me. You understand? I want her to work for me. She's, so, she's a good person. she got a good heart. She's got the wrong people. She's following the wrong crowd. I want to pull her out that crowd because I got something planned for her. I got something planned for him. I got something planned for you. You understand? That's why God takes the lost and transforms them. That's why he's after sinners. Because just because we're a sinner, that doesn't make us a bad person. That's make us being misled. The world has taught us so many things. That's why God wants you born again. The world has taught us this. It's taught us that. It's taught us how to live and that. And, and God is like, wow, these, this whole thing about since you've been in school, they've been teaching kids that we came from apes. And kids are believing this. And then kids are going to college and learning more knowledge. And the knowledge of the world... God said he used the, the knowledge of this world to confound the wise. You understand? You need some spiritual knowledge to go with this worldly knowledge that's going on in here. Because this worldly knowledge is going to pull you away from Christ. You understand? These things, a lot of these things they teach you in school. You understand? They Think about this. Everybody know that King David was a real king. But why don't you see a, read about him in the history books? There's a lot of things in the history books leave out. That's why you cannot trust that. Why they leave God out? Why they leave Jesus out? They talk about Muhammad, but they don't talk about Jesus. Why? You got to ask yourself questions like that. Why don't they talk about King David? Why don't they talk about Solomon? Why don't they talk about Samson? And I'm going to tell you something right off the jump. I even took Greek mythology in the 10th grade at Murphy High School because I love Greek mythology. But if Jesus was a myth, why wasn't the Holy Bible in Greek mythology? You got to ask yourself some things. If all that was a myth, why was it in there? It, it wasn't taught in the regular classes, and it wasn't taught in mythology classes. That's kind of strange to me. Because the people will say, well, the Bible is a myth. All right. Why was it in mythology classes when I took them? Why? Because they don't know where to place the word of God. <laughs> you know, that's why the word of God got to stand on its own. It's got to stand on its own two feet. It can only be studied by itself. It can't be studied with something else. You know, when I was going to school to try to be a preacher at one time, you know, I had to learn about all these other mythologies that I already knew about. You understand? Because when you go to school to be a preacher, they got to teach you about the Koran. I'm not trying to learn about the Koran. I'm trying to learn about the Holy Bible. They're going to try to teach you about this, about Buddha. They're going to try to teach you about the uh, God, all the many false gods in India. They're going to try to teach you about all these things. To confuse you a little bit. You understand? But God is going to give you the spirit of truth. It's a reason why God said, you know what? You don't even need school. I'm going to teach you myself. Because the world is trying to confuse you. You need to stay grounded in the faith, man. You know, I posted yesterday. Only, word, only book you need. If you're trying to seek the spirit. If you're trying to seek God. The only book you need is the Holy Bible. I'm not going to talk too much longer. But all you need is the Holy Bible. Trust God on that. I was going to say trust me. Trust God on that. You know, a lot of times when I say trust me on it, it's the spirit working on me. It's God talking through me, telling you to trust him. Not me. Don't trust me. You know what I'm saying? God said, put not your trust in man. And that's the truth. And I'm going to, I'm going to preach that. You understand? Because I'm flawed just like anybody else is flawed. Put your trust in God. Put not your trust in man. But you got to understand, as a man of God, or a woman of God, when you saying trust you a lot of times, it's more like you're trying to tell them to trust God. It just don't, like sometimes, some people take it the wrong way, man. Just trust God. You God? No. I'm saying trust God. You know, but I might need to get in the habit of trust God. Trust God. Because I'm not God. I'm not God. No, I don't want to be. Even Jesus was like, I ain't, 
He's like, what's good, man? He's like, don't call me good. It's on what about the good. It's my father. Jesus even said that. Jesus didn't even want to be on the same level as his father. He let people know, I come to do the will of my father. You understand? When he was transfigured on the mountain, there was a, a distinction between him and God. He was like, this is my beloved son whom I am well pleased. Listen to him. Listen to him. God let people know that I'm God and this is my son and he does my will to the T. You see, that's why people don't understand that the father and the son are one. Because Jesus did God's will all the way to the T. He didn't do it like we do it. He did it to the T. You know, he did it to the perfection. He was perfect. That's why they are one. Do the math. He was a perfect human being. Son of God. He came exactly doing perfectly exactly how God wants us to walk. That's why if you're going to model yourself after any person in this world, model yourself after Christ. That's why I call myself a follower of Christ. That's why you call yourself a follower of Christ. That's why every day you put your cross on because Jesus said, take up your cross and follow me on the daily. That's all I got for y'all today, man. Y'all just be safe out there. Stay prayed up. Stay seeking God. He's going to come into your heart. You can't expect somebody else to save you. Is that because your husband or your wife or your kid go to church and you don't? And you don't seek God? They might make it. But if you ain't seeking God, you might not. So it's best to try to get your whole house on and win a cord on this. Have a blessed day.